I saw you're having a little bit of difficulty with this note. No kidding. Yeah, it's it's really hard to find yeah. this note, you know, and pull it out of any in, out of the middle thin air. But I find with any shift, it's it's really important to measure the shift. Oh. So I find if you if you measure the distance between your nose and your thumb, you know that uh, it gives you a good you know idea, well, oh. high percentage of hitting it. So I, I find. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Of course. Wow. Yeah, give wow. that a shot. Yeah, not bad. I mean, it takes some practice, but... That's then, genius! Yeah, better than your toolbox. Well, let me uh, play something else for you then. Yeah. It's, it's nice to check them against the open strings. Ah, so E would check against the, the open E string. E string, yeah. It's really good for intonation. Yeah, here. But what if you have an E flat arpeggio? Oh, well, just it's simple. It's, you should still use the open E flat. trouble with this this opening 010 yeah shift. shift shifting there it's it's really fast and it's 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 really it's too fast to shift you know oh. and uh, so there's there's only really one thing you can do and that's to borrow some of the technique from from cellists what they use and, and and just use your thumb so just get get started get yourself in third position and then just use your thumb to get started yeah. wow yeah Michael yeah. simple you're amazing oh I'll stop Yeah. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. See, we have this, we have this basic. Something like that. 